Hello everyone, welcome to the training of DeedGus Software Learning. This time, we will learn the function of backlight adjustment. How do we achieve a backlight adjustment like this? First we need to open the T5L DeedGus 2 application development guide, and then turn to the system variable interface section. I have taken a screenshot of the message, and it shows address 0082 to control the backlight. Then address 0082 will be used later as VP address. Secondly, we have to master DGUS about the backlight adjustment of some control parameter settings. These are some of the parameter settings that show the display control drag adjustment. This is used to set the coordinate position, width, and length of the display area. This is used to set the VP address. We learn the function of backlight adjustment today, so set it to 0082. The data return mode is set to high bytes because high bytes are used to set system variables. We set the backlight brightness to 100 levels, so the start value is 1 and the terminated value is 100. Here are some parameters for the touch control sliding display. Again, this is used to set the coordinate position, width, and length of the touch area. The VP address here needs to be the same as the address of the display control, so we set it to 0082. You can divide the brightness into different levels according to your design needs. I divided it into 100 levels, so the initial value is 1 and the terminated value is 100. Slide mode is selected as horizontal. The icon file is usually named 48. Here we select the 48.icl file and click the plus sign to select the icon inside. This icon will be used as our slider icon. Filter is set to 63, which is a hexadecimal number that filters out all background colors of the image. Similarly, we set the variable type to high bytes, as is usually the case with system variables. To keep our initial screen bright, we can set the initial value to 100. Now, please join me in doing this. First, click New. And set the resolution to match that of your screen. Then set the file path and click OK. Click the plus sign and select the background image. The image needs to be named from 00, 00 onwards. Next we need to generate the ICL file. Click Welcome, then click Dwin ICL Generator. Select the image directory, and finally click Generate. We need to generate 32 to ICL background image and 48 to ICL icon files. Select the directory. Then click on the 48 folder. Click on Generate ICL. Select the Dwin set folder and name it 48. In Icon Display, select Slide Display and then select the area you want to slide in the corresponding area. The parameter settings section, as I described before. VP address is 0082. The initial value is 1 and the terminal value is 100. Slide mode select horizontal. Select the 48.icl icon file. Click the plus sign and select your icon picture. Filter set select 63. Variable type select high byte. The initial value is 100. Then from touch control. Select drag adjustment. Box select the area you want to touch. Next comes the parameter setting section. VP address is set to 0082 to keep the addresses of controls consistent. 
select the horizontal adjustment mode. The start value is 1 and the terminated value is 100. Finally, click Save. Then copy the DWIN set folder into the SD card for burning. And we can get the backlight adjustment project. Next, insert the SD card into the slot. And power up the screen. Burn the project to the screen. A blue screen showing end indicates that burning is complete. Then power off. Remove the SD card. And power on again. And you can see that our backlight adjustment is done. Thanks for watching.